What is an active speaker? It's a speaker with an amplifier built in. What is an active streaming system? And why would you want one? Let's find out. I'm Joe with Gramophone, and today we're gonna review the Canto YU6, a very popular compact system. So for starters, who is Canto? They started decades ago as an OEM manufacturer, building for more famous brand names that are out there. So by 2007, when introduced their first product, which is actually an HDMI cable, by the way, they already had years and years of building quality products for other people they knew how to manufacture. Pretty quickly, they were building speakers and now in this case, of course, amplified speakers that we're gonna talk about today in the YU6. So who is the customer for a system like this? Really anybody who has a space where there's not a lot of room, but you want good quality sound. So for that matter, the audiophile with big speakers and a massive 250 watt amplifier and so forth, even that person probably has a bedroom, a desktop certainly, a computer desktop is a perfect application. A TV where you want better sound than what comes from the TV, there are lots of customers for a product like the Canto YU6. So let's cover just some basics. It does ship double boxed. That's a nice touch. Canto, again, a quality manufacturer. Secondly, this is really two products in one box. It's the active powered part that's got all the connectivity to it. And then a passive or secondary speaker. This one communicates everything that you need to know to this one. We'll talk about connectivity more in just a moment. One other thing that's important to mention, finishes. It comes in bamboo or walnut or a nice matte black and obviously this beautiful matte white finish. I, I just love the look and feel of these speakers. So let's talk what's in the box. There is of course the owner's manual. There's a nice little packet of little footies that you can put underneath the speaker. Power cable of course for connecting the powered section. They give you a 3.5 millimeter connector, which is great. And they even give you a length of what's probably 16 gauge, reasonably beefy speaker wire to go between the two speakers so you get sound from the primary to the secondary. So let's take a look at the one other item that gets packed in the box and that's the remote control. This is actually a really well done remote for this general price range. Obviously power on up here, Bluetooth control as well. You can choose the sources, so going back and forth, let's say from your TV to maybe a connected turntable. You've got volume up and down. You can even do treble and bass up and down. In a compact speaker like this, to do a little bit of fine tuning on the fly to your room, that's a great advantage. You've got balance controls, highly unusual in a, you know, a kind of a remote in a system like this but definitely very useful. And of course, your ability to move back and forth from tracks and, and pause and play, that sort of thing. A really nicely done remote. Way to go, Canto. So as with all these sorts of systems, there's a primary speaker that's got most of the control that goes to the secondary speaker, which is more just a passive that gets what comes from here. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features on this, and that is the subwoofer out. Let's be honest, in a more compact speaker like this, one of the lacking points is the ability to generate a lot of deep bass and or play it loudly. The fact that they included a sub out is great because you can grow this system over time. You move from a small room to a big room, and you want more bass, sub out. You have more money over time. You can afford this now, you add a sub later. It's great. So let's take a look on the back of the primary speaker because there's a lot to talk about here. First off, separate IEC power socket. They ship a beefy power cable that you've seen, but you can upgrade to a better power cable if you like. Here's obviously the on-off rocker. Here's a fascinating addition. They have a built-in phono preamp. So these two RCA connectors can either be for a turntable that you've got with a moving magnet phono cartridge, in other words, virtually any vintage or modern turntable will work, and they give you a grounding post for that right here. But you also have a switch, phono, if you wanna use it with a turntable, over to line, because maybe you'd rather connect, let's say a CD player or a DAC or some other such device. So this set of RCA connections, either phono or line, 
but you don't need to buy a separate phono preamp. That's pretty cool. Uh, this connector here, the USB connector, is for charging only. It's not for an additional input. They've got some nicely done left and right speaker cable connectors here. It also has on the back a port. In a smaller speaker like this, a port is a great choice for increasing the efficiency. So this, these little cabinets will play a little louder than they could otherwise. And you can get a nice bass bump at a specific frequency with a port. You also have one more feature, which I think is great. Two optical inputs, one and two. And you can use that, for example, for the output of your TV sound. So that's the back panel and all of its connections. Let's also now look at the front panel because this little button actually does three things. It is in fact the power on, power off, if you touch it. That is also your volume control and you can feel it's got these clicks uh, as you turn up the volume. The third thing, and you may notice the flashing light down here, it also works to enable you to change source. So if you want to go from one source to another and you happen to be physically standing here, you can do it. So let's talk a little bit about price versus performance. We'll compare it to the Kanto YU4. The YU4 is of course more affordable, but the YU4 actually has a four inch Kevlar driver. Kevlar, by the way, being the material they use in bulletproof vests. It's a woven material, very lightweight, but very strong. So good for base. This YU6 compared to the YU4 has a five and a quarter inch driver in a slightly larger cabinet. So Kanto specs the YU4 down to 60 cycles as the 3db roll off it's specking this down to 50. obviously this is capable of deeper bass a little more bass it'll play a little bit louder versus the yu4 now let's compare the yu6 against the more upscale kanto took which is at 799 for pair the took at 799 doesn't have the silk dome tweeter which we have here it's actually got an AMT, or Air Motion Transformer Tweeter. It's a higher-end product. The woofer in Took is actually an aluminum cone, not the Kevlar. If you can spare the extra money, the Took will, in fact, play better on the high end, better imaging, it'll play a little louder, it's got better bottom end. All the way around, the Took is, in fact, a better performer, but that doesn't take away from how good this is for its price range. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos. Let's share with you just a couple more things you might want to know about YU6. It's about 7 inches by approximately 8 inches deep by about 11 inches tall, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And even the powered version is under 12 pounds, so these are not heavy products. This just works great in any space where you don't have a lot of space and you need something that's compact. So overall, what can we say about the Kanto YU6 system? I think for the price range that it's in, roughly $500 retail, this is an incredible system. First off, it sounds really, really good. It will play loudly and clearly and deliver at least reasonable amounts of bass for this general price range. Donald Fagan, comma, period, sounds really good. Female vocals sound really good. That part's important to me, so Adele or Pink or whoever's your favorite, favorite female vocalist sounds great. The sound quality, I think, is really quite good. Secondly, the system makes it easy to connect via Bluetooth and play your favorites that way. Third, it's got this really handy remote control, which gives you, again, a lot more control, as we saw earlier, than what some systems would give you. It allows you to grow over time with the sub out. To me, that's really important. Again, you put it in a larger room, you'll probably want a subwoofer to really round out the base picture. And they even give you the ability to connect your favorite turntable, whether it's vintage or modern, without needing a separate phono preamp. All in all, I would give this system a very high recommendation. Well done, Kanto. We hope that you've enjoyed this video about the Kanto YU6. You can learn more about Kanto and all of our wonderful vendors at gramophone.com. And you can pick up a pair for yourself at Sky by Gramophone, where you'll always get a secure checkout with fast and free shipping straight to your door. We'd love to have you come visit us. We have stores in Timonium, Gaithersburg and Columbia, Maryland. 
And we're filming today from the Gramophone Experience Center, which is directly across the parking lot from our Timonium store. Visit if you can. Also, if you're in the Maryland area, up in Hunt Valley, we've got the Kitchen Design Center where you can get expert advice on how to put together a kitchen or bath or basement remodel just the way you like it. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to seeing you soon.